This video is about Ramadan. Ramadan is coming up in a few days, so I wanted to make a video describing what God says about Ramadan in the Quran and how I experience it, how I understand it. So in the Quran, in the second chapter, uh, as far as Ramadan is concerned, God says, O you who believe, fasting is prescribed to you as it was prescribed to those before you, so that you may be careful of your duty, so that you may become righteous. For a certain number of days, but whoever among you is sick or traveling, then a number of other days. Those who aren't able to fast may redeem themselves by feeding a poor person. Whoever does good spontaneously is better for him, and that you fast is better for you if you only knew. The month of Ramadan is that in which the Quran was revealed, a guidance for people and clear proofs and a distinction. Furkan. Therefore, whoever of you is present in this month, he will fast it, and whoever is sick or traveling, then a number of other days. God desires ease for you. He does not desire difficulty. So that you should complete the prescribed period, and that you should exalt the greatness of God for his having guided you, and that you may give thanks. Uh, and then in, in the Gospels, uh, really, Jesus, the Messiah, uh, uh, he says uh, a, a very good, uh, comprehensive approach to fa fasting, how we should fast. He says, when you fast, do not, look, do not look somber like the hypocrites do, for they disfigure their faces to show others that they're fasting. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you fast, um, put oil on your head, and wash your face so that it will not be obvious to others that you are fasting but only to your father who is unseen and your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you and that is in uh, Matthew so uh, fasting and, and Ramadan are, are very uh, important so Ramadan is the month in which the Quran is revealed. Guidance, Huda, and uh, and distinction, Furqan, distinction between right and wrong. The, uh, just by saying that God defines the Quran as basically everything. If you are a Muslim, Quran is everything to you. It is your guidance. It is your light. Uh, it is your distinction between right and wrong. That is how you know. Even in matter, that is how you know in matters of behavior and theology what is right, what is wrong. You don't go by authority, you go by the Quran. It is the ultimate authority. God is the ultimate authority. And God tells us that we have to fast during the month of Ramadan. If we can't, if we are traveling somewhere, and I don't mean you're going to the next city over in your car, you're just sitting. That's not, that's not the same. People, I have seen people use that as an excuse. I have heard of people use, uh, doing that as an excuse. I've never seen it myself. But I have heard people doing that. But if you are traveling, if you're going long distances, long traveling, like like they traveled in the desert, they walked, then God says you don't have to do it, but make make up for it. And if you're sick, if you just know you can't do it, then feed some people. That's it. God wants this to be easy. It's not hard. And fasting is not hard. So fasting, my personal experience, I've been fasting I, for maybe eight to ten years now first few days you're a little cranky you're a little short tempered but then you settle in and when you settle in you start to change you are slower to speak because it's just you're you're just a little bit tired you can still you still have energy to train i can train during ramadan i can train hard during ramadan and i'm fine but, you know, you have that little discomfort uh, of, of thirst, but, but you're fine. But my mind slows down. I can still think, but my mind slows down uh, and I can actually control what I say. For the first time, you know, one month out of a year, I can actually control what I say, thank God. It benefits me because my, my mouth, uh, you know, uh, I'm, a, I'm a hothead. I say things that are I don't want to say a lot of times. And Ramadan helps me with that. It helps me adjust my behavior. I identify behaviors I have issues with and I focus on them during Ramadan. It's a lot, and it's a lot easier for me to focus on them 
because it's Ramadan and my mind is not racing. I'm not thinking about a lot of things. I, am, I have a lot more time. You, one of the shocking things that came to me uh, when I started fasting Ramadan is, is how much time we actually spend on food and drink. Once you start fasting, you, you have just so much more time to think about things. In any case, this is a pit stop. It is, <clears throat> it is something that helps you. Once a year, for 30 days, you get a reset. This is a time to break bad habits. Whether you have a bad relationship with food, bad relationship with drugs, bad relationship with cussing, bad relationship with going bad places, this is a month to change those habits. Habits are very difficult to change. Uh, so this helps a lot because everything changes around you. It is literally a crutch for people who are fighting their demons on their own and can't win. So God says, here's some help. Ramadan, here's some help. Fasting, here's some help. Prayer. It is a crutch. And you have to use it. And not only that, once you do use it, once you start to realize what it does for you, and that takes a couple of years, but once you start to realize, then you start to carry, to try to carry these good behavior, good habits that you make, you, you start to carry them over. And they last longer and longer. As long as you're trying, the next year is better. And you still, all of us still kind of tend to uh, drift toward our bad habits, but with Ramadan happening every year, I am getting better. Ramadan and fasting is a commandment of God. So is prayer. Uh, all of them are commandments of God, and they are given in order to help us. And they do help us in, in, in many, many ways. I don't know what the physical uh, benefits of Ramadan are, but I know I, I feel I, I do feel better physically as well. So it is very important to take this seriously. The Quran commands it, and the Quran is the Huda, it is the guidance, it is the light of the heavens and the earth. God says that in the Quran. It is the Furqan, it is the distinction between right or wrong. It is the hikmah, it is wisdom. It is all of it. And, and it, you have to read it, and then you have to do what's in it for all those things to apply to you. Otherwise, you're just, uh, uh, like God says in the Quran, uh, an animal, a person who's given a book but that, that does not observe it is like a donkey carrying a book. It's the same concept. You know, book is, does the same, uh, is of the same value to both of them. It changes neither. So that is Ramadan. Uh, it's coming up, thank God. And uh, I hope we use this tool to the it's to its fullest extent because all of us need help, and it is here to help us. And it, it's easy to do. So that's Ramadan.